Someone's trying to get you to talk about something you're not supposed to talk about. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. They have given you an open invitation to gossip. That's exactly what I got here. And really, I think this is just a very gossipy person. But this is someone who tells everyone everything. If they get this information from you, they're going to tell a bunch of other people. And just say as little as possible. You already know who this person is if this comes into your mind. Or it's going to be something very soon. But like a text message, somebody pops up. Hey, did you hear about blah, blah, blah? Or I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of love bombing that may happen. A little bit of stroke in your ego. Um, and putting out good vibes. Like, I, I think you're not going to really see it coming. Like, this, I've never felt like this before. Like, I just, how to put it, you're going to see it coming, like, if I tell you about it. And I don't usually give readings where I'm like, this is about to happen. But it's, and it's really just kind of a minor thing. It's just, just stay out of this. Like, I just feel like there's some big drama coming your way because, or it could, if you decide to, you know, talk to this person. Like I said, open invitation. I just feel like it's something they're totally just, they have no reason to ask about this, no reason to know about this. I'm getting reminded of someone from my past. Very dear person, but oh my gosh, the biggest gossip, the biggest gossip, and would remember stuff for years and tell people and just kind of famous for it. You gotta find, watch those people who find you a little too interesting, start asking you questions like, well, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? Here's the thing I learned a long time ago. People love to talk about themselves, or even if they don't love to talk about themselves, like, they will find you an interesting conversationalist if you ask them questions. Like, it's a good way to distract people. You don't even realize it's happening. People will get you talking about yourself just to kind of distract or to whatever. I just think they know how to get information out of people, like, really easily. Like, and I think what it is, it's like, seriously, it's just, okay, how to put it. It's not that they're so evil, their intentions are evil. It's just that they are connected to people who may have bad intentions. It's kind of like this. You don't want to go bragging about having expensive stuff in your house because someone might find out about it and come rob you. I've known two different people throughout my life who had their houses robbed because somebody was bragging about some firearms they had in their house. And, or not bragging, but like somebody had a repair, per, like someone had some repairs done and they said they had left these, uh, you know, stuff I'm not allowed to talk about, these things on, um, very expensive stuff left them out like on a kitchen table or something they were cleaning them or something when that repair person happened to be happened to be over it was a man and like a younger guy like a teenage kid and yeah a couple of days later someone broke into that house it was that teenage kid and it's like someone else anyway that's not the only time and i've heard of stuff like this it's because people come right for your house if it's, it's certain things in it right i think this is okay Sometimes it's not even the person directly. In fact, that story I just told you, I'm not even sure if it was the friend himself or it was just a friend of a friend. What I mean is someone could just be innocently sharing information and someone else is listening. That's what I feel like the person here that is trying to get this information, their, their motives are pretty innocent. But what they don't realize is they're being played. Someone's pumping them for info. Like, it could be somebody that you're, somebody that won't talk to you. I feel like this could be family. It doesn't have to be. But you know how it is. Like, I feel like what's going on, and this person, like I said, I feel like they are they don't realize the drama that is going to be caused in your life because maybe this person isn't going to feel that type of drama. They're not going to feel the same repercussions. They don't realize they shouldn't be go going all over town spreading your business, but they are. And, um... I just don't say anything to them if it's something they don't need to know and I feel like they could be getting information about other people I'm just saying like it, it just in general it's best to say less to people because I used to be that kind of person just say you know I wanted people to like me so I would talk 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 tell people stuff and then you you know I realized now it was not the not the best way to go about it laughter is the highest frequency I think you connect with laughter I think that's how this person gets things out of you um you change them forever Oh, okay. That's what this situation is about. There's some big situation that they, I mean, they really want some, the tea on this. Okay. They, they there's a lot of people speculating and talking about this. That's what I'm getting from this. Like they, this is someone who wants to come in and just, I'll buy you lunch. I'll take you out to coffee. I'll, you know, get you a snack out of the vending machine. If you tell me this or, you know, it's, it's that kind of thing. And it seems so innocent and stupid, but I'm telling you, this message is happening for a reason. You just need to say as little as possible and i pray i manifest that you'll get some kind of feeling in your body when this person comes like you'll know when this is going to happen okay like you'll get a, a what these people would call a check in their spirit like you'll get a physical feeling of some sort if this is the person that i'm talking about in this reading 
you attract healthy relationships. That's confirmation. Like, I love it. I love that I'm... Um, I just feel like this is about a healthy friendship. Like, I just think this is maybe not the most healthy of, of friendships, if you know what I mean. You are attractive and you fear nothing. I think you're just a very interesting person to a lot of people. And maybe you can't figure that out, but you are attractive to people. And I think that's part of what's going on here. It, people are talking about you. It's okay. I mean, it, it is and it isn't. Like, don't worry about it. But it, this right here, you fear nothing. Nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. Just keep going say as little as possible to this person and i would reject their invitation and if you do take it up take them up on it i would be as quiet as you can anyway say as little as possible you fear nothing it is spoken it is written and so it is amen